Oh, uh, anyway, hey guys, I'm back with playthrough. What are we up to? I think we're up to playthrough four now. And yes, the sound is out. I get that. Okay, I just saw the little timer. Anyway, another episode with Ricky, Walls, whatever. I still don't care what you call me. But I'm not gay. Say something gay. And ooh, ooh, something's gonna happen there, buddy. Anyway, um, I apologize in the last few episodes, I may have swore a bit, I totally did not realize, so I will put a warning on the front of this, in case for little kids and uh, stuff like that that you got in square, gonna be happy with that. Um, anyway, like I said, I was doing a bit of a crafting guide, um, what you need for this is, oh, as you can see again, I'll just point out, I'm cowering inside again in my little house, yes, yes. Uh, what you need for these is you need the string. Yes, string and sticks is the only thing you need right now. Uh, so what you do is, of course, you have to have a crafting table. Like I say, you can't stress enough. Most people think you just slap together by doing nothing. Ah, with the bow, it's pretty simple. You go like that, and three down. It creates a bow. All right, so pretty simple. All right, most people don't know how to make that because no one tells anyone how to make it. That, that exactly is why I'm here. Alright, the next one is three sticks up. They have to be on this side. I'm pretty sure you can't put it on that side. And, um... Oh, actually, I can't remember how to make this one. <laughs> uh, how do you do it again? Um... Whoa, sorry guys, I totally just spaced them. I... Wait, how do you make that one? I'm screwed if I know I don't touch fishing rods. Yeah, boss. Well, uh, just give me a sec here. I don't know what the hell just happened then, but for the life of me, I can't remember how to make them. Ah, oh, never mind. There. Ah, oh, I got it the wrong way around. My bad. Um, yes, that ultimately. No, I thought of that one. I think I was going off the boat again. Let's do is go diagonal. My bad, guys. Again. And two things down. What it does is it makes the whole thing. Alright? So you don't have to bait it. You don't have to put shit on it. You don't have to find worms and shit. I can't really think I can say that. Yeah, yes, you do not need absolutely nothing to set stick. Um, I will take that for a test run in a minute. But since it's dark and the creatures and shit are out, so I really don't want to die from an exploded penis man again, so yeah, alright, uh, what we will do is, in this episode, before it ends, um, I'm probably going to start building my house, I probably won't show you until it's done, because it's a very slow process for me, so, yeah, but um, previous episode, I got my um, iron back, because I lost it when I died, I uh, found some arrows, got a lot of feathers. Now, someone asked me the other day, I can't remember who it was, um, how to make bows. I will, I'll show you now, it's pretty easy. What you have to do is you got to get that, the same stuff you make out of flint. Put the sticks in the middle and feathers on the bottom. Ultimately, that makes four of arrows. Exactly the same process with everything else. Now, most people just click once, yes. Um, with your mouse, if you click both um, clickers at the same time, I really don't know how to name them. It picks them up twice as fast. So ultimately it saves you the hassle of just sitting there clicking one at a time. So that's another tricky hint, like nice little hint. Um, feathers are probably one of the most valuable things in this game, in my opinion, because like just the stuff you can do with them is ridiculous. But um, as you can see, um, I have feathers and I have 64 arrows now. But yes, so I'm going to finish off with making my... Um, bricks again. So, my bricks. There we go. I have some bricks now. Now that, that was clay. If you don't remember that, go visit my last couple of posts and you'll figure out how to make the bricks. Alright, just, yeah. If you want to message me, just message me in the comment below. Uh, remember to like this video and if you want to subscribe, go for it and make sure you come check out Darkrai. I'll put it link in the description or knowing me I'll probably post this on there first before I put it on my channel so either way check out both channels subscribe like do what you want favorite but I don't know why 
don't know why people say that, so, um, do what you please. Doesn't really say you right now. But yes, um, I forgot to actually show people, um, what a cool thing about the pumpkin thing is. Actually acts as a helmet too, and kind of cool because I'm pretty sure this came with a Halloween update. So um, you can actually see how the jack o' lantern, like the face, and the character looks pretty sick in it. But it does get annoying because this black smudge just where the little aimer is. It gets really annoying after a while. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make them as torches. But for now, I'm just gonna let them stock up there. Um, sand. I always keep sand, cactus, you always want cactus, uh, TNT, um, I probably will do a little special and show you how to do an arrow trap, not much to look at, but if you're on board, it's quite fun, but I'll probably do an arrow trap with that, just for the hell of it, um, leather, to make armor out of it, I can't make the piece of armor right now, but I guess I can explain how to make armor, oh look at the white outside, that's good, but, um, what you do is run on boots, put two like that. Simply for the helmet, you put two like that. Um, for pants, I'm sorry but I don't have enough, you put another two there and it makes pants. Um, for the armor plate, you put two there and one there and you leave that one out and it turns into chest plate. But, um, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably do that right now but I'll show you how to fish because most of the people I talk to do not know for the life of them how to fish. Alright, uh, it is not rocket science. Just I'm just putting that out there. I'm not trying to be mean to anyone, but um yeah, it's not that hard to do once you know how to. I guess you just have to do that. And one more thing I didn't like, um if you have a skeleton or someone in water, um they kinda survive in the light. Oh Oh That's one thing about penis heads, I mean I know it's just kinda classified as swearing to some people but Really, I don't know any other name for them, so they are creepers in general. I know that, but come on, they look like a penis. Come on, look at it. Look at it. I don't want to get too close to it, but um, yeah, to me that looks like a walking penis. Uh, my bad about the language, but yes, I got insulted by a friend who told me I should watch out for my swearing since YouTube. That is fair enough. So uh, I took his advice. But, um, yeah, what you probably want to do is, if you ever try and take out a creeper, you want to take a hit, back up, take a hit, back up, take a hit, so forth, so on. And, yes, yeah, it does kill them. Anything kills them, except, I'm pretty sure wood will not kill them, respectively, as iron, but this is a rock sword, so, um, well, actually, I should say cobblestone sword, but, anyway. Uh, so what you want to do is, yeah, you just keep doing that, but, um, I don't know, what I found out with, um, so say like a diamond sword, it takes three hits, yeah, because it's diamond, of course. Um, but with these, if you, you probably don't want to use them on, like, a diamond sword on things like this, like cows and that, or whatever. You probably just want to make yourself a, even a, even a, uh, what is it, an iron sword. I mean, I kind of just stuttered then, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, you don't really want to use it on stuff you don't have to. Like, there you go, I need a sword again, I control it myself. But, um, yeah, you want to just use this on all of these, because you have a steady inflow of cobblestone. So, why not put it to a use, and just rest some people? Like, like, that's how I see Um, you want to keep a steady inflow of food. As much as you think you won't need it, because you say you won't die in that, if you start playing on hard, which, trust me, um, peaceful gets... I don't know, it just gets so annoying, because... I don't know, you feel like a cheater when you put it on hard at night just to rest the enemies. I mean, if you really want a good challenge, which if you're over this game, like if you're burnt out on it, I guarantee if you put it on hard, you will love it again. Like, yeah, look at that. Down there, there's a creeper. Oh, at least the head of it was just there, but um, yeah. How weird does that look? Looks like a poodle. Alright, um, yeah, so yeah. Main things for me right now is I always keep a steady inflow of feathers, and you got to go mining for a lot of stuff, but you want a steady inflow of feathers. Um, uh, steady inflow of food. Uh, yeah, see how I'm walking around now since it's light and there's just arrows everywhere. It's because when the sun comes out, of course, all the enemies die except spiders and creepers. They disappear after a while, but the best way to get strings if you don't have strings or if you're not as lucky as I was. 
they come across a spawner and just wreck them. My bad at that language again, but still, they did get wrecked. Um, that's kind of cool, just a mini waterfall. Um, ooh, I'm going to have to explore that soon. Note to self, explore area where torches are. But, ah, uh, far out. But, um, yeah, like, you run through food in this game, don't be scared to use anything you have, I mean, just because you took a while to get those arrows, in my opinion, like, doesn't mean you don't have to use them, because it, it does take quite a few arrows in that to kill someone, so keep that in mind, it's not going to be a one hit, like, just annihilation, you will have to pop at least, it's five into creepers, I'm pretty sure it was five into skeletons, uh, let me pause this for a sec to see how much time we got. You still have five minutes, nice. But, um, yeah, don't be scared to use anything if you have. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to go find it again. This game is repetitive, but that's the thing about it that people like. It's always going to be different. There's always going to be enemies different, like, uh, the nether. I'm going to have to make one of those, but that is going to be way in the future. Unless, like, tell me what you guys want. If you want me to play my other account, like, just as a couple of random things to do, um, tell me, um, I, I'm not one of those people that do stuff, but, um, I do know the duplication glitch in this fast. I'm probably not going to show you, because once you know it, you can't get it out of your head, but you can control yourself enough to not use it, so, I, I might, it depends what happens. And if you guys want it that badly, then I will put it up on the full directions on how to do it, fast. I'm just hoping no one will actually use it to do diamonds and that. Like, I don't know. You do what you please with it, but depends if I bring it out. Because there's a lot on YouTube at the moment. Like, I've looked them up as well, and they don't actually show you how to do it. I actually could show you how, but I'm not going to. That's kind of a tease, but like, I don't think you should know how to do it. Because once you know how to do it, you'll never forget how to do it. I hope that made sense. I don't know. Depends. But, um, right now, I will just quickly get to the point of quickly put that stuff in there. Um, one more thing about fishing. I was, like, sidetracked because of the, um, creepers and... But, alright, uh, um, before this episode finishes, I'm pretty sure I'll just check again. Sorry, that was... There's a couple minutes left, so I will quickly show you how to fish. Doesn't matter where you cast your line, it's just you click and you cast it out, alright? And that, that counts as use. Like, if you do it enough, it starts using it. So what you want to do is, you want to cast it out, so in me personally, I cast it out. And you want to watch it, so it's like really fishing. So it's kind of cool, just, it kind of glitches out the stream. <laughs> but, um, yeah, see, you can't see the fish. Like, there's no fish in here whatsoever. But, um, if you sit here long enough, your um, little bit of the fishing rod will go down. I mean, I'm hoping I can catch one by the end of this um, episode, but by the looks of it, not fair. And, um, yeah, so you don't have to bait it, you don't have to put anything on it, it's just you cast it out, and the way you've made it is when it bobs down, if you click it at the right time to cast it back out, uh, a fish flings over your head. That's as easy as I can say it until I catch one. And it just flicks over your head and it just looks really weird and you're just like, okay. It does the same effect as pork, just when you cook it, it looks like bones. So, uh, beware of that. Oh, there you go. Fish to the rescue. And that's all it is. So when it goes down, you can see it for a split second. But ultimately, um, I don't know, to me personally, I don't think it is worth it, but I mean, it is fun when you board just to catch fish just for the... Uh, I oh, know, I guess just for the point of having them, because they're hard to get sometimes. But just like that, you can catch a fish, go back to your house, and chuck it in here. And just before this episode ends, I'll show you what it looks like when it's cooked. You can easily eat it like that, just like the pork that you see down there. But yes, ultimately when you cook it, it looks like that. So, anyway guys, um, this is... Ricky, we're just signing out yet again for another playthrough of Minecraft. If you liked it, please subscribe, check out our other channels, 
Thanks for watching, and I guess I will catch you in the next places. Alright guys, take it easy. If you need any, if you need any questions answered, feel free to um, PM me or comment in the section below. Alright guys, take it easy.